Hi everyone. I saw Aaron's video on how to use the floss threader earlier and it is a great technique that she uses. Um, I wanted to show you another technique and this one is what I was taught when I first started doing beading um, on my knitting. So you've got your floss threader, you've got some dental floss. You're gonna just take a length of the dental floss, however long you wanna make it, and you're gonna tie a knot in the two ends that should be thicker than the hole in your beads. So you're gonna end up with this loop. What I then do is I take the dental floss threader, I put that loop through there, and I do, I think it's called a half hitch, where I just pass the end of the dental floss through the loop so it makes a little cinch right there at the end of the dental floss threader. All right, now, like Aaron said, this piece is kind of stiff and it really helps because it allows you to be able to pick up beads. And what you end up with is your beads strung so you don't have to worry about picking them up individually. Um, as you're knitting, you can just pour a few of them out and then you can take the floss threader and pick them up and you can pick all that you can get onto the floss threader and then when you've got a few on there you just slide them on down okay so now when you're knitting I guess I should have made sure I wasn't all tangled first. When you're knitting and you come to where you want to put that bead, you're going to, uh, let me knit up to it. One, two, three. So if I want to put my bead on this next stitch, I can slide my bead threader into and then I've got this loop here to hold on to my stitch. I can slide a bead up and then pass my floss threader back through the bead Pull it up, slide the bead down from the floss onto the stitch, put the stitch back on, and knit my stitch. And it's sitting right there on that stitch right there. So let me do that one more time for you. Just pick up my beads, pass it through my stitch, slide a bead up, pass my bead or my floss threader back through the bead, push it down onto my stitch, and then put it back on the needle. And I can pull that out. and then knit my stitch. All right, that's just a different technique from what Aaron gave us earlier, so um, hope that helps.